This research paper is the outcome of collaboration between a government organization and an educational institution in the United Arab Emirates. This initiative was established by a memorandum of understanding signed by the Abu Dhabi Housing Authority and Zayed University on October 2016. Abu Dhabi Housing Authority, an Abu Dhabi governmental institution that provides national housing for its citizens, requested Zayed University to work collaboratively on a series of student-based research projects to help them better understand the requirement and needs for housing over the next 30 years. Abu Dhabi Housing Authority's specific request for the research to be conducted by students was primarily for the purpose of ensuring that the research is based on a younger, more grassroots based demographics of the UAE population. Embracing Abu Dhabi Housing Authority's request, the College of Arts and Creative Enterprises created a National Housing Research Seminar course as an elective available on both the Dubai and Abu Dhabi Zaid University campuses. The need for research done by students created an opportunity for us in case to develop a series of seminar courses that not only produce the body of research required by the Abu Dhabi Housing Authority, but also acted as a pilot project to examine the advantages and challenges of inquiry-based learning rather than the conventional teaching models and how it would promote a more professional approach to work. This was essential since the current shift from an industrial economy to a knowledge-based economy requires an educational curricular shift to better prepare our young professionals. Inquiry-based learning is sensing perplexing situations, clarifying the problem, formulating a tentative hypothesis, testing the hypothesis, revising with rigorous tests, and acting on the solution. Inquiry-based learning is in sharp contrast with a traditional standardized educational model that follows a linear process of either getting a body of information transferred to the student's brain or breaking down complex, complex tasks into, into those not further divisible bits out of which any knowledge was assembled. Despite the fact that historically, inquiry-based learning specifically undergraduate students' research inclusion into the curricular has been around for some time in the United States and Europe, especially after the Boyer Commission report in 1998, it has yet to gain popularity in the Middle East and Arab nations who prefer a more traditional educational model. This was clearly evident when all the colleges at Zaid University except the College of Art and Creative Enterprises rejected the inclusion of an undergraduate level student research course for Abu Dhabi Housing Authority. Despite that, the body of evidence clearly showing that the undergraduate student's research activities improve self-motivation and self-directed learning, which are the key skill sets required to be effective practitioners. The pedagogy learnings, challenges, and outcomes of these series of student research seminar courses conducted at Zaid University in collaboration with Abu Dhabi Health Housing Authority will be the focus of this paper and is organized as follows. Section two presents the National Housing Research Seminar courses detailed structure, research methodology, student engagement, and the desired outcomes of all the protagonists. Section three reflects on the quality of students-led discussion and its final research paper outcomes. This section also reviews Abu Dhabi Housing Authority's student engagement, the methods of dissemination, and student feedbacks. Section four reviews and summarizes all the learnings from the National Housing Research Seminar course and looks at how to facilitate future collaborations. 
Typically, there is an unspoken tension between researchers and governmental policymakers, based on the fact that the latter is influenced by external challenges and influencers that require them to base their decision and policy purely on beliefs rather than on hard facts. Policymakers generally ask for clear recommendations, usually within a short time span, which is in sharp contrast to researchers who thrive on the complexity of their work and the challenges of providing their theories or learnings with very little regard to a set timeline. These tensions are clearly stated and recorded in the literary works of John Nisbet. Even though the objectives of the collaborators were different, in sharp contrast to the stereotype belief that government agencies are controlling, demanding, and oppressive, Zayed University, and in particular College of Art and Creative Enterprises, collaboration with Abu Dhabi Housing Authority, was respectful, constructive, and highly productive. Through a series of research seminar courses based on the subject of national housing, the objective of Abu Dhabi Housing Authority was to have established a series of grassroots conversations, especially amongst the young population of the UAE, to further examine and analyze the evolving needs of the society to better understand the principles behind the establishment of the national housing in the UAE and the difference between need and entitlement. After further consultation, between the College of Art and Creative Enterprises and the Abu Dhabi Housing Authority, it was also decided to incorporate further research questions. The university's objective of the collaboration with Abu Dhabi Housing Authority was to create a change in the institutional epistemology, a change that will eventually establish a greater sense of connectivity with the community and start addressing the requirements of the professional practice. Further to the objectives of Abu Dhabi Housing Authority and the university, College of Art and Creative Enterprises also wanted the National Housing Research Seminar course to develop a series of academic skills for the undergraduate students, such as research, reading, writing, self and group critiquing, oral presentation, and a sense of citizenship and social responsibilities. Even though the objectives of Abu Dhabi Housing Authority, Zayed University and CASE might have seemed slightly different, the expectations, timeline and outcomes were very much the same. The primary expectations from the student researchers was not only to review and question the government policies, but also themselves and the community that they are living in. This was especially critical since the UAE has gone through a major economic, social and cultural transformation over a short period of time, necessitating this critical reflection. In order to be able to meet all the aforementioned objectives, Case decided to design the National Housing Research Seminar course to follow an inquiry-based educational model. Even though most art and design studios in the college typically follow an inquiry-based educational model, lectures and research seminar courses historically follow a more traditional method of education. The National Housing Seminar course was planned to be a pilot project in order to evaluate the benefits and challenges of inquiry-based learning in research seminar courses. The National Housing course was designed to change the standard role of the instructor from a single source of knowledge to a facilitator, one who helps administer a structured research and discussion as a method of gaining a deeper understanding of the subject at hand. This new faculty-student relationship 
not only treats the students as the adult with something valuable to contribute and learn, but also help take ownership of their own learning by instilling in them a spirit of inquiry and a burning desire to solve problems. The new role of the faculty, from policing to co-experiencing a learning process by conducting mutual discussions, help bring the students much closer to their faculty. The course initially started with a short overview of the general subject of natural housing, not just in the UAE, but also internationally by reviewing a few pre-selected relevant papers and then discussing them during the research seminar sessions. After the quick introduction, the entire class was divided into small groups of two or three and asked to select their particular set of research questions based on their interests. A few of the questions were, how should heritage and culture affect the design of a home? Is culture static or evolving? And if it is evolving, how has it evolved in the UAE over time? How will it continue to evolve over the next 30 years? Can domestic architecture contribute to the happiness of a family? What is the difference between social needs and entitlement? Should national housing be based on such social needs or on entitlement? Groups were then asked to start their literature review and or field research on their selected questions. Each group was then given a week to disseminate their literature amongst the entire class and accordingly moderate the seminar sessions and record the group discussions and learnings. The faculty's role was to ensure that all shared literature was reviewed and approved for its relevance prior to the, its dissemination. The faculty also ensured the seminar discussion moderators by each group stayed relevant and focused on their chosen questions. Throughout the semester, the faculty also helped the students understand the interconnectivity and relevance of all the research questions to national housing, and in particular, to national housing in the UAE. The course assessment process was based on a final research paper and a poster presentation, but faceted in order to ensure a much higher level of learning. The faculty provided comments at the interim stages of the outline and draft to ensure that students see their mistakes and understand how their research process could be improved. The paper was graded on four major criteria, clear articulation of initial concept, sustain and in-depth research, correct and appropriate use of English, as well as format and presentation. The poster presentation was assessed on three criteria, clarity of content, visual interest, accessibility, and verbal presentation. The research methodology for this course was through literature review and field research. Due to the contemporary nature of some of the questions that the students had to work with, Field research, such as questionnaires, interviews, and surveys, were used quite extensively. The outcome and relevance of the field research was then discussed in the seminar courses before its inclusion into the final research paper. By conducting a series of, of on-site training and workshop that helped better explain to the student groups some of the challenges and solutions that Abu Dhabi Housing Authority had developed over the years, it helped provide the government perspectives on the research questions. Each group was also given free access to communicate and consult with the rev relevant departments at Abu Dhabi Housing Authority, who provided student groups with further background information. Despite the fact that all papers in the National Housing Course were reviewed 
and feedback provided to students at different checkpoints. In the development for the final paper, the quality varied both in research and writing skills. Since English for all the students in this course was not their primary language, the writing quality was clearly indicative of their primary and secondary education. Students from private schools generally performed much better than the ones from government schools, even though all students had already taken a research methodology course prior to this course, most students struggled finding resources and heavily relied on online publications and journals. This could be very much a generational issue, but can be substantially reduced by raising the level of information literacy amongst the students by offering more training on library research. Students suffered from overconfidence and research anxiety. Paradoxically, students with stronger information literacy showed more signs of anxiety and a lack of confidence, as stated in Kruger and Dunning's paper. Incompetent individuals lack the metacognitive skills that enable them to tell how they are performing, and as a result, they come to hold inflated views of their performance and ability. In addition, incompetent individuals are unaware of their deficient abilities. The student's varied performance in the final written paper was overcompensated in the quality of their field research, seminar discussion, understanding the challenges at hand, and the final poster and all presentation. We recognize that these qualities and achievements were more in line with the desired outcomes of Abu Dhabi Housing Authority. The ability of the student to, to moderate during the seminar sessions demonstrated their understanding and passion for their particular research question. The following two narratives are an example of how this course managed to establish a strong body of research, social dialogue, and obtain a higher level of understanding. When the question is cultural static, static or evolving, was raised by one of the student groups. The initial discussion amongst the students revolved around the fact that the current detached national houses provided with its high boundary walls needs to be kept in order to preserve the culture of the region. As the students started reviewing and discussing the literature provided to them, by the concerned student group on how culture is not static, how the UAE culture itself has changed within a short period of time, and how in the current global society that we are currently living in, there is a need to embrace and even celebrate diversity, opinions started evolving and gradually changing. The same group of students started considering an apartment as a viable option to the current national housing model. Another example was when students were asked if they believed that they all should be entitled to national housing or not. Initially, almost all the students agreed that they are entitled, simply due to the fact that their parents and grandparents received national housing, and therefore they should too. Once the assigned student group started sharing the dis and discussing the literature review on social justice, on the on definition of poverty, and the difference between entitlement and need, the group started gradually changing their opinion, stating that social responsibility should dictate that one should not be entitled to national housing if one has the financial means to provide for themselves allowing the government to provide the national housing for the ones who truly deserve the basic human rights of shelter. Research dissemination was partially embedded into the course assessment, both as the final submittal of the group paper and a poster pre presentation from Abu Dhabi Housing Authority. Each national housing course conducted a formal poster presentation 
at the Abu Dhabi Housing Authority headquarters, where students presented their research findings and received critiques, both from the Abu Dhabi Housing Authority researchers and senior administrators. This was the first experience for most students in making an oral presentation outside of the university setting, and so it was a great learning experience for them. The direct involvement by the Abu Dhabi Housing Authority senior administrators in both the training and the feedback of the poster presentation inculcated in the students a confirmation that their voice is important and being heard by their government. Even though the Abu Dhabi Housing Authority acknowledged the relevance and the importance of the student papers, unfortunately, none was either submitted for conference proceedings nor published. As a result of the National Housing Research Seminar course, a few faculties were inspired to follow up on the student research and write papers that were both presented at international conferences and published accordingly. Despite the keen interest from a handful of students wishing to take the National Housing course. Unfortunately, the course had to be suspended after four semesters due to low enrollment. After conducting a few informal discussions with students who had already taken the course regarding the possible reasons for low enrollment, it soon became apparent that the major hesitations for most students was that they assumed that the research was difficult. The belief was confirmed by rumors about the course requiring a much more intensive level of research, which they had not been accustomed to in the past. Most students were accustomed to conducting their research using an online tool such as Google, Google Scholar, and Procrest, and lacked higher level of information literacy required for this course. Similar results were also found by Heads and Eisenberg. By introducing, a liberally, uh, by introducing a library credited course aimed at improving undergraduate student information literacy, especially in the first two years of their studies, students' fear of research can be eliminated or at least significantly reduced. The National Housing Seminar course was not a mere response to a request for collaboration between a government institute and a university, but rather a series of case studies conducted by the College of Art and Creative Enterprises on how students can connect to a series of questions, problems, and issues that exist in the community and the world beyond the university. The inquiry-based learning was conducted by faculty facilitating a process where students explored meaningful problems, identifying what they need to know in order to solve the problem and coming up with strategies for solution. Even though some educational institutions do not look very highly at undergraduate student research courses and rather look at them as supplementary education or even superficial, the experience and learning gained through the National Housing course proved to be very different. As clearly demonstrated, through their presentation and surveys, students who were engaged with these courses gained a series of educational outcomes, such as improving their problem-solving abilities through reasoning and construction of flexible and transferable knowledge. The overall process inquiry-based learning also helped students become critical thinkers, gain a much deeper understanding of their discipline concepts and learn their way around discipline. Even though the students' quality of written final papers was not consistent and could be improved, the outcomes desired by all protagonists in this collaboration was more than what was expected. The National Housing Course already demonstrated that academically, students require at the earliest stages of their higher education direct training from the library support in order for them to gain a much stronger information literacy and in order to build their confidence and help them not rely on the online mainstream search engines. The government agencies also appreciated the potential of such collaborative student research. 
and its impact on creating a constructive dialogue and a much stronger sense of mutual trust. With all these achievements, it would have been expected for this course to have continued. But unfortunately, as stated earlier, it could not be sustained beyond a few semesters. The lack of information literacy and general anxiety about the levels of research required for this course was its major challenge. As a learning for future collaborative student research projects, it is imperative to ensure the strengthening of student information literacy as a way of motivating students to participate in such courses. Motivation explains the purposefulness of the action, organization, and, system, and sustainability of holistic activities aimed at achieving specific goals. Based on the outcome and evidence, the preferred pedagogy for all future student research collaborations should be an inquiry-based learning rather than the conventional teaching. Thank you.